What is up, YouTube? Just got this baby back from CGC. Let's pop it open and see how accurate my gray predictions were. Okay, so this was 30 days door to door. They received it on July 26th. I received it today on August 26th. So floored, floored. Those are pre-COVID CGC turnaround times, which are unheard of right now. So I'm pretty, pretty shocked, pretty excited that they came back that quick. When I got the shipping notification, I'm like, the heck is this for? Was not expecting them back this quickly. So all those people wasted money on Express, you wasted your money on Express. Um, I'm just going to pull them out randomly. I didn't sort them. I just popped the box open. So, Venom number one. I predicted this probably at 8.5 to 9.0 because the bottom had a little crush in the corner. 8.0. So, a little bummed about that one because I thought it was near perfect other than the corner being a little smushed. Um, but I guess they knocked it down just for that. But... Still psyched to have it. Still psyched for that nice custom label that matches the cover. Mirror image of it, but still, that's number one. Next one, of course, the shipping labels in it. X-Men 141, First Days of Future Past. I think I predicted this uh, Seven to, to eight oh seven to eight oh that is an eight five so that is a super nice grade for that book in my opinion with the custom label okay next one spectacular spider-man number one nice logo nice header there Predicted this probably about a 7-0 because it had some color rub off on the top where the yellow wasn't quite so yellow anymore. I got a 7-5. Looking good there. Next, Punisher War Journal number six. six. Thought that would look pretty cool. This I predicted 9-0 or higher. Got it, read it once, threw down box. 9-4. So pretty happy with that. I think that looks pretty cool, pretty bad. Next. Silver Surfer 34. Custom label. Same thing. I said this is probably a 9-0 book. 9-2. Where the Infinity War all started, in my opinion, and is undervalued, in my opinion. But it's for my PC, so very excited about that. All right, Beta Ray Bill. I thought this was probably a 5060 book. Um, it is a little worn. Color is not perfectly centered with the book, but I did think it was at least a 50 book. And they, bam, that one hurts a little bit. Um, but still happy I have it. Still happy it's graded, that custom label. It's a little bummed by that one, but it is what it is. You can't be happy with all these. Next one is beta, second Beta Ray Bill. I said this was got a little bit better. I thought this was like a 6.5 to 7.5 book. I got eight up, so I wish it swayed the other way around, and the first was better than the second, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, so, Tail Team Titans, first Nightwing, the George Perez header, which is cool. Only thing cooler than that would have been if it was a yellow label and it was signed by him as well, um, but I guess this was probably like a 6070 book. And it's a 6-0 book, but I'm happy to have this. Um, I just recently got the uh, DC Comics Presents first Raven, so that they're going to look cool when they're together. Hopefully they still have this custom header when that one goes out, but I think that's pretty, 
pretty badass. Amazing Spider-Man 359. I already have 361, 362, 363. Why not get the first cameo? 9-0, I predicted it about a 9-0, so it is what it is. It is exactly what I thought it was. Three sixty-two, which, like I said, I have graded already. I don't have it with a custom label, uh, but I have a nine-six copy already. I knew this one was decent, probably a nine-zero. I guessed and it's a nine-zero. All right, Daredevil one sixty-nine, uh, second Electra, custom Daredevil label. This is the water damage book where I said it could any be anywhere from a 2.0 to a 5.0 because it does present very, very well. Though it does have some bad staining on the back cover. Thought maybe I could maybe squeak like a 4.0 out of it, but came back a 3.0. So a little bummed about that as well. You know, this is one of those books that happy to have, happy to have graded, but obviously would like to trade up at some point in my life, get a better copy of it rather than a 3.0. And hopefully I can flip it for what I paid for the grading fees, but we'll see. Figure Wars 3, first Titania. This, I was guessing, I believe a 7.5 to 8.5. And it came back an 8.0. I thought it looked cool with the... I don't think that's the label I picked. I'm gonna have to double check. I thought I did the Avengers old school Avengers label with this but I'll double check that after the video all right first white rabbit team up 131 I think I've said this was probably a 7 0 to 8 0 to 7 0 presents very nice though looks a lot better in the case than it did out of the case All right, last but not least, and maybe save the best for last. I'm kind of excited over this one. Miss Marvel, for 13, which was the first amulet with the custom label. I thought this was a high grade book, 9-8 candidate. Boom. Very excited over that. I know it's not super valuable, but Amulet grows as a character. This could be, this could be relevant. Decent book, but very excited about it. Custom label. But I am curious about that Secret Wars because I'm pretty sure that I picked a, uh, the Avengers, like cartoon uh, scooter uh, header for that. And it looks like they gave me Avengers, but I'll double check that. But those are the 14 books. Bummed about two of them. Excited about a few of them. Uh, hope you like my unboxing video. Stay tuned for my speculation videos on Saturdays. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That's right over here somewhere.